back at the OS Bridge conference, and right now I'm joined by Brom Patoyo. Hello. Hi, Brom. How are you? I'm doing awesome. I'm doing great. You spoke yesterday about fonts. Uh, yeah, yesterday I spoke at uh, the 145 session. It's a workshop called a uh, Please Your Pixel Hungry Eyes with Codes That Read Better. So how do fonts work into open source? Uh, so fonts work into open source because uh, several font families have actually been donated to open source project. Like for example, the uh, GNOME project. And in fact, font that you use on your Linux system, most of them are actually open source because um, you know a lot of them tries to avoid you know the legal wrangle of actually licensing a font from somewhere else. So they just ask the companies like, will you donate it or like can we customize one of yours so we mm -hmm. can use it for free? And so they did. And so now they can provide free fonts for everyone. You know. Okay. About how many open source fonts are available? Let me think. Uh, as I can recall, there's 20 or 30 that mm -hmm. I can recall, sort of off the top of my head. But that's, you know, there are way more than that. And like the academic community is pretty famous for this because mm -hmm. uh, a lot of them are scholars, right? And so usually like a university or something would have a typeface that they would be made available mm -hmm. uh, to their students and stuff like that so they can use it for free. And so that's another, that's another way. Yeah. How did the talk go? Uh, so the talk went the talk went very well. I got a lot of good questions for it, and got a uh, and got to show you know a lot of a lot of cool stuff, and you know a lot of like type uh, typography related stuff that's not necessarily uh, related to the code. Mm -hmm. Even though that was what the session's on. Turns out that it's you know it's <laughs> not very long. So. Yeah, but it's you know it's a really good talk. I'm sad that I missed uh, Marcus's talk yesterday on. Uh, it was at the same time, right? Yes, yes. I know. But it, there's you know there were dragons in there. I mean, how could I? Yeah. I even put a uh, you know no dragon sign on my second slide because you know I kind of want to honor it. You know, yeah. Sad that I missed it. Sad. But, you know, maybe you sit here and comes on the show. He'll recap a little for us. I know. It's not hints, the same hints. thing, but. All right, before we get to the next bullet point, which is something that I'm very excited to talk about, oh, no. I do have to mention something else. There's a certain calendar that, that was done um, and that I was in and that you were in, and I've got almost everyone that's in the calendar has signed my calendar, except for you and Amber, and I forgot to ask her about it. Oh, it's the calendar. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah. So are you gonna yeah. be are you gonna be at the after party tomorrow night? I think so. I think I'm going to be at the after party and the after after party and then the next, you know, conference planning meeting or whatever. Okay. So yeah. you bring yourself to the yes. hacker lounge tomorrow night and, and make Amber come too and I will bring my calendar so I can remember to get you guys to sign it. Oh the calendar. You know, I never sign a calendar before, you know. It's just, Oh I you need to come sign my calendar. Okay, okay, I we'll do. Be, yeah. All so, the other pages I didn't sign my own calendar, but of course. Yeah. But all the other pages have been signed. I think so. Oh, okay. So, yeah. I'm gonna, so if you have a calendar, I'm going to be making Brahm and Amber sign mine, so you might as well bring it along. Yeah, exactly. If you sign. have such calendar and you know which one it is. You if know, you no happen to have to that calendar. Yeah. <laughs> they could for a cause. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Now, on to more important things. Well, not more important, but new podcast. What new podcast? Yeah, so it's a uh, so about uh, about two months ago, maybe a month and a half ago, a uh, couple of people uh, and I talked, and actually this is three people from Portland. This mm -hmm. is me, and then Tyler Sticker that was at Web Visions, right? Mm -hmm. And um, and Dane Wilberding, he was actually there at, attending my talk. He was mm -hmm. actually one of the few people who wore shorts yesterday. Mm -hmm. but anyway, that's besides the point. Who wore shorts? Yeah. It's brave enough to wear shorts and you know brave these uh, air conditioning. Oh, okay, gotcha. We were earlier the first half of our day. We were sweating in here because our air conditioning wasn't really? going very well. So but the air conditioning tends to like oscillate. I think we just had to have someone turn it on for us. But then uh, it got yeah. really chilly. I have sleeves today because you're right. Because the hacker lounge was super chilly last night. Yeah. You know, we had to ask them like, "Hey, can you turn it down? Because it's freezing in here." All right. Oh yeah, podcast. So the podcast. So uh, three people from Portland. And uh, one other person is from uh, the Netherlands, actually. Mm -hmm. His name is Mark Roman. He is at Conceived on Twitter. And uh, we, you know, we've just been uh, constantly talking about typography. And then he somehow bought a domain, which name I sadly forgot, but he bought a domain and then he said, you know, why don't we make a type podcast out of this, you know? And so we began um, brainstorming via Twitter mm -hmm. and, you know, bouncing off ideas via email and stuff uh, until somebody from Typophile dot com uh, took note and then you know we went and met with them and they said you know why don't typofile host your podcast and I'm like holy crap 
these are like freaking typophile guys now we gotta deliver right you know so it's like yeah there's no backing off now <laughs> have you done an episode yet uh no but we're gonna record one later this month Ooh. let yeah. me know when it's out yeah so Very it's gonna exciting. be tricky right because it's like there's that nine hour time gap you know so mm-hmm. i think we're all going to be you know recording it over iChat or something like that yeah, yeah. Cool tricks. That's going to be very, very cool. I'm excited to hear it. Yeah, thank you. Thank All you. right. And the podcast you used to, you're not doing anything with that right now? Uh, so the podcast that Amber and I did last year, which is Hazelnut Tech Talk, I think that gets suspended during the winter just because it's too cold and like yeah. no one's out. I think we may start it again during the summer, but I'm not sure. Okay. Well, let yeah. me know about we'll that. Do. I think we've got it. Mike's got it on iTunes. There's but. not enough side projects. No, we need more side projects more. to turn into startups. Yeah. All right. Uh, what are you looking forward to in the, ne- the end of today and uh, tomorrow's unconference? Oh, so uh, the one, actually the session that I'm going to the next is uh, Ishwarn's um, how the web works, like what happens, so details, you know, what happens like when you actually click on a link, like what happens behind the background. I actually had a chance to check uh, his slides out at mm-hmm. the Hacker Lunch yesterday. Mm-hmm. It was hilarious. And one of the slides is called HTTP and your mom. <laughs> so, you know, well, how can I not go to that? I think you need to. <laughs> exactly. So I'm look, really looking forward to that. And then um, Hacker Lounge is, of course, awesome. And you guys are going to come in the Hacker Lounge? I Tomorrow heard? night we're doing a show 8 p.m. to 10 nice. from the Hacker Lounge, yeah. Very nice. So it's like everything's coming together. <laughs> oh, the singularity is... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, tech event singularity. Whatever. Yeah. All right. Pretty exciting. All right. Well, we'll see you tomorrow. Yes, and we'll see you tomorrow. And bring your calendars. I, yes, bring your calendars if you know what the calendar is. Yeah, if you is. know the calendar. And if you have one and I haven't signed it, there's going to be um, a lot of people that were in that calendar. Uh, You're right. There are a lot of uh, yeah, at least Verso. nine or ten people. Yeah, Verso is in the calendar. Who else is in the calendar? Media, but media chick is not here. I don't think. Know. Yeah, no. Um, Doctor Normal. Oh yeah, he's in the calendar. Yeah. Yeah. Um, they, there will be several calendar folk there tomorrow, yeah. so bring it and, and bring a silver sharpie if you have one. If you know what the calendar is. Yeah. Yeah. I can say it. Is it okay? I it's, oh, yeah. Yeah, it's the Get Naked for a Cause calendar. Yeah, it's, get it's, naked it's, for a, a Cause it's, yeah, go to Get Naked for a Cause or do something for a cause.com, I believe, is the website, or you can um, right. join the Get Naked for a Cause on uh, on Facebook. Yeah, we just obscured the name just to make it sound, you know, just for it to Even have more fancy. Sleep, but, yeah, whatever. All right. All right. Thank you, Brom. Yeah, nice talking to you. And I'll see you soon. All right.